hello ladies how you guys doing i hope you guys are fabulous and you are having a fabulous day um today we are going to be talking about seven very valuable advice yes and i have my glass of wine right here and yeah i'll just be sipping on my glass of wine while um i share this valuable advice with you guys <laughs> Say what you want to say to me now I want to wake up with you in the morning Show me the oh, Yes, ladies, please do not forget to subscribe um, Comment, like, and hit the notification button So that you can receive a notification every time I post a new video Now, without wasting any time Let's get right into our video Okay, guys, so now, number one, <clears throat> number one, all I can say is, don't waste too much time, guys. Don't waste too much time on people who don't cherish you. It's as simple as that. Laugh with, with whoever is laughing with you. Smile to whoever is smiling at you. You know, love whoever loves you. Cherish whoever cherishes you. Because at the end of the day, even if you love someone who doesn't love you, even if you smile at someone who doesn't smile at you, it just, you know, at the end of the day, you'll end up losing more than gaining, okay? So right now, just make everything be about yourself, okay? Be selfish for once, okay? Just be selfish about your emotions for once. Be selfish about yourself for once, okay, ladies? So cherish people who want to cherish you okay sorry i'll be just looking down because i wrote my points um down here on my laptop so i'll just keep on looking down and yeah but then yes ladies that's what i'm saying is that cherish yourself and learn to love yourself because no one else will the moment you don't love yourself nobody else will love you so how do you expect other people to love you if you don't love yourself so you know what love yourself honey love yourself flowers can perish but self-love it does not now the second one honeys is no is a complete sentence you don't have to say anything else after saying no to justify why you are saying no okay ladies that is it no is no a person just has to know that when you say no you don't need to say anything else to justify why you're saying no. And I mean, like, and another thing, you don't need to ask for other people's approval, you know, because that's what people do. Whether you ask for the approval or not, they will always judge you either way. So you know what? Just take things as they are. When you say no, it is no. Is this that? No is no. Okay. Don't justify yourself. Don't ask for people's approvals. Just know that a no is a no. Okay. Now, the third one is read and travel to feed your soul. <laughs> I mean, like, read books. You know, glow up, guys. Like, read books, financial books, books that are, you know, like, successful things in life. You know, like, books like that. You know, there's, like, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You know, they are... Um, values of success you know different kind of books that can actually give you an idea that if you want to be a millionaire one day which steps you must like walk in you know like you know for footsteps and stuff like it will just take you step by step you know the bill uh, the million um the millionaire next door that one i like uh -huh. so like you can just like read those kind of books you know and then you can also save money and travel traveling does feed your soul guys <laughs> traveling traveling definitely feeds your soul so i would definitely recommend traveling so if you want to travel if that sounds like it's something that you can do it is definitely something that you can do it's definitely something that you should do and please just remember this beauty does vanish okay but memories are forever okay <laughs> you see this face this face over here in 20 years time it will not be looking like this but the memories that i had when i was traveling yo 
those memories will stay with me for the rest of my life okay so yes ladies and then another one number four what you can do you can celebrate all your achievements and failures and the ups and downs i mean like that does give proof that you have lived okay so if you do have ups and downs in your life right now just take them as like as stepping stones and take them as one day you'll be looking back and then you would think you know what i've actually lived i've pulled through this situation i don't know how but i did you know i've done this i don't know how but i did do it okay so like just take them as evidence that you have lived in this world evidence that you have tried certain things whether you failed or you did accomplish it doesn't matter that is just you did try because what they say is you never know until you try and even if you fail i mean like we've tried things that you failed and we're here we're still alive we're still breathing so failing doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end of your life it's the end of your world okay so do things guys do things make memories go out there travel do anything okay because at the end of the day we're not here to last forever we are just here on borrowed time you are here on earth on borrowed time so use that borrowed time to do anything that you want to do accomplish all the things that you want to accomplish if you fail it's okay just decide whether it's 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 worth it to try again or you just want to move on okay now number five is stop comparing yourself with other people oh my goodness why are you switching off laptop <laughs> then another one number five is stop comparing yourself with other girls there will always be someone smarter prettier but your value doesn't decrease just because someone is prettier than you or just because someone cannot see your uniqueness okay honeys like i mean comparing yourself to other people especially social media social media can do that to you you can end up now thinking that just because you are a plus size you are now um not valuable you're now not pretty just because now you've seen other people who are claimed to be pretty on social media because they are a size ss you know um and stuff like that just now just because you're now a, a large or an extra large you feel like you're not beautiful i mean like there are beautiful people out there there are people like plus size people that are beautiful for instance like snazzy and thick leonce those are the girls that i that like that i follow on instagram and they are plus size and they are beautiful and they embrace their beauty they embrace their plus size bodies okay so just because there's someone more prettier than you doesn't mean that you're not pretty just because there's someone more smarter than you doesn't mean that you're not smart you are smart okay it's just that it's in another way and you whoever person that you see and you envy maybe they are more than you but then don't envy anyone you are you and you should focus on you okay because there are certain people i mean like this thing is like this they can be 10 other pretty girls in the room you know and then a guy comes to you and approaches you what about the other prettier girls in you you know he doesn't want the other prettier girls he wants you okay because like at the end of the day the real beauty the real beauty comes from inside you know a person's personality a person's heart you know person's sense of humor that's what makes you beautiful not your looks okay because your looks will perish one day but your sense of humor you always have it <laughs> okay now going on to um number six number six it is think long and hard before you say i do oh my goodness i cannot stress that enough yay guys think long and hard before you say i do now this i do can come in different forms this i do can come in a form of i do to a relationship in a form of i do accept the job offer in a form of i do accept the engagement in a form of i do marry this man 
to be my lovely wedded husband okay so i do they come in a lot of forms so just think long and hard before you say i do because that i do will stick with you forever okay just like marriage i'll talk about marriage because you know because yeah yeah so like i'll just say you know like um okay my husband and i we are not married like legally yet we haven't had our white wedding the only thing he's done for me is like pay logo -lo for me and um that is um in our culture that is marriage you know because i'm now staying with him and yeah so when he asked me to marry him when he asked me that he wants to go to my parents and pay logo -lo for me you know i was happy i was very happy <laughs> I was very happy. I'm like, what, nigga? Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I'm for real. I want to do this. I'm like, okay, I won't stop you from doing that because I love you and I want to be with you. So, yes, you can do that. And then, the moment you get into something, then you start having problems. I mean, like, for someone who's never been married before, like, I've never been married before. So, if you get into, like, problems and stuff like that, the kind of problems that you never got into when you stayed in a relationship they just be like you know what what was i doing here what 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 was i doing you know <laughs> you know you get that kind of thing like what was i doing why did i say i do you know why did i say i do want this because now i feel like it's not something that i want anymore you know so that's why you need to think long and hard and the moment you get into something you cannot go back you know like i mean like you can go back but then there's certain things especially like marriage once you say i do you can go back you can get a divorce and all that but then just make sure that it is what you want first make sure that the partner that you have is a partner that you see yourself with in five years time in 10 years time in 50 years time okay yeah so Think long and hard before you say I do accept that job proposal because also that can be I mean like there are certain people who have problems at work I for one can relate to that you know I've had problems at work like you know like it was bad <laughs> so yeah like sometimes you know there's certain things that when you agree to them then you see them later on like nah i shouldn't have done this i didn't agree to this so just think long and hard before you say i do now the last and final one is um, take your time nah. take just a little bit of your time to admire the smallest things that you have accomplished in your life okay it to admire the smallest things that you have in your life just take that just those few minutes you know those few minutes just to admire yourself you know just think to yourself you know just say you know what self thank you very much i've accomplished this you know i've done this thank you very much i've done things that i didn't think that i would have done you know but then i've done them take those few moments just to thank yourself for like accomplishing those things no matter how busy you are okay ladies please do do that and then remember always work to live not live to work okay that's my final one that i'm gonna leave you guys with always work to live but not live to work because at the end of the day life is not about work life is not all about work 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 you also need to distress you also need to be out there you know like live your life do certain things that you want to do in life so you can't always be like working and living for working you know you need to work for a living but not live for working it's just it just doesn't make sense you know god didn't god didn't bring you to this world for you to be a slave to this world i mean like to be a slave to work to be a slave to you know like all those things no god didn't bring you to this world to do that to be that so just love yourself take care of yourself and keep yourself in a good shape keep yourself in good mental state keep yourself in good health and just keep yourself in a good mood okay ladies i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys so so much